Welcome to Siddha Flow, it's Cordy, and in this masterclass I'm going to talk about Chaturanga Tandasana, a pose that you will encounter a lot, especially when you're doing Vinyasa or Ashtanga Yoga. Chaturanga Tandasana is usually used as a transitioning post from high plank pose into high cobra or upward facing dog, and it has a lot of benefits. It strengthens the spine, the arms, the abdomen, and the wrists, but just be mindful if you have shoulder or wrist injuries or are pregnant. I'm going to show you how to do Chaturanga Tandasana as well as some modifications. Let's get started. All right, my dear yogis and yoginis. Like I mentioned, Chaturanga Tandasana is a transitioning pose. So what we want to focus on is to start in a high plank pose. So we're gonna go ahead and Bring the feet out behind us and the hands flat on the mat underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers wide, really grounding down through each and every knuckle. And you want to lengthen the heels away from the crown of the head, rolling the thighs inward, really engaging the core here, keeping a little micro bend in the elbows. So just be mindful here to not sink into the hips or collapse into the shoulders as this is our base position for Chaturanga Dandasana. Generally speaking, if you are already struggling in this position, I will show you a modification in just a moment. So like I said, get set up in your high plank pose, keeping the neck nice and long. And on the exhale, bending into the elbows, lowering down slowly with control, again, being mindful not to collapse. And as you're inhaling, coming up into your high cobra or upward facing dog. And then usually we transition back into downward facing dog. This pose requires a lot of abdominal and arm strength. And to be completely honest with you, if I do Chaturanga Tandasana more than five times, I'm already compromising my own alignment because my arms and my abdomen are not as strong as I would like them to be. So I'm going to show you a modification. Again, starting in that high plank pose, wrists underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide, really grounding down, lengthening the heels away, staying nice and active in the core, rotating the thighs inwards. And on the exhale, instead of lowering all the way down, we're going to lower down first with the knees, then the chest, then the chin. On the inhale, coming up into a high cobra or upward facing dog. And as you exhale, once again, pushing back into downward facing dog. Once again, in high plank pose, wrists underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide, firm thighs rotating inward, really strengthening the abdomen here as you lower down, bending into the elbows, lowering down slowly, slowly. Inhale into upward facing dog or cobra and exhale into downward facing dog. The modification from high plank pose, lowering down on the exhale first with the knees, then the chest, then the chin, inhaling into high cobra or upward facing and exhale, push back into downward facing dog. And this pose really works on your arms, on your wrists, the abdomen, the spine, the whole body. So just make sure when you do Chaturanga Tandasana to really do it right, work with the alignment, or feel free to go into the modified version with knees, chest, and chin. I hope you enjoyed this short little masterclass and I will see you on the mat.